All right, guys, and we are back for round number four, the final round for this evening. And due to um, um, popularity, everyone has requested for Erangel. So we will be playing another round on Erangel instead of going back to Miramar. And uh, I do believe that we have all the players ready to go. So we should be getting started ASAP. Yeah, guys, thanks for tuning into the stream. I hope you enjoy what you're watching here. So, uh, again, thank you so much for all the support so far. I really do appreciate every little bit, whether it's um, being very generous with the stars, helping to share and like the stream. Really appreciate it. Uh, we should be good to go soon. Um, just waiting for, I think, final movement of teams here. And uh, yeah, we are loading in for the next game. I apologize for the picture being like this, but I was trying to get around the, the audio issues that we were having earlier on. But, okay now. Right. So let's take a look at what the flight path is like for this very final game of the Battle Arena scrims. So yeah, it looks like it's uh, all the way from the eastern, top eastern to top western, uh, over Georgia Pole. So quite a variety in the the circles that we've seen so far. Now let's see whether or not that we have a continued variety in the dropping patterns from the rest of the the players here. Now we did see a lot of uh, favorite places and everything like uh, and they like to go to military base. So I think in the last game we also saw that um, Boyak Gaming also wanted to mess with um, Power Ranger in Pochinki here. So let's see whether or not they keep up with that again. Now Gatka also we saw BAE go there uh, in the last game. And uh, yeah, let's, let's see how this one pans out. I think a lot of these teams maybe are starting to feel each other out a little bit here. But uh, yeah, so far, I don't think we've had any super extreme circles this evening. So see one now, that would be round off quite an interesting night here. And of course, last game, we did see Quacker as getting the, the final, uh, or rather get that final frag to get the chicken dinner in the last game here at BAE's expense. But BAE did well with Imagine able to come up with a clutch play there, backstabbing. Um, the team members from Squad 15 here, but Squad 15 were in a little bit of a precarious position anyways due to the spread that Quacker had available to them. So, see a number of teams actually uh, dropping quite early here. We do see that um, Frostfire going down south here. They might be looking for vehicles uh, to go to Milta. They do like going there, or they might just be going for Lipovka, it would seem. And uh, you see here MBT going for Komeshki. Um, Together, we do have six gaming also in the mix here. I am Coldblood deciding to uh, drop a little bit earlier here. And this is uh, Team Infinity, the orange color team. Now, MSK Poseidon all together this time as the last game, they did get a bit separated here as they go to shooting range as well. Severni being the only teams to drop in this direction. And MBT here taking up this region to the east of school and Rosok. And uh, Yasnaya looks as though it will be occupied by Quacker as well as um, 14, which is uh, Power Ranger. Uh, North George, we have FFG and uh, 
two other teams actually and it looks as though Aaron able to get the the first elimination so far as he runs over uh, one of the BN power teams here but uh, Gary Yang able to get one back here for um, six gaming here Bellberg is a little bit surrounded here as his other two team members are a little bit higher up on the field here and um, two other players from MBT occupying the further north area here and Savior gets eliminated by squad 15 here as he gets run over trying to secure a vehicle in this stage of the game. Now, uh, these teams are starting to light it up a little bit here as they do spot that uh, Felberg is starting to move around here as uh, Gary Mang trying to put up some long range shots with the AK but uh, unfortunately not able to connect a little bit more for that little bit of uh, health that he had left available to him. But I think they will try and Take what they got and uh, looks as though that we have our hard shift circle all the way to the western side here as it covers the whole of Georgia pool as well as the Gakka regions here. Pochinki just inside the circle but these guys from squad 20, Lepak Mama are going to have to start making their move pretty soon as well. And uh... Alright guys let's move to a better screen to watch the action here. So my apologies. Now um Getting back to it, now we see squad 11 here, Koyak Gaming is in the Milta Power region, uh, able to be there quite safely, but uh, it looks as though Milta might be a little bit busy here as we do see that squad 15 is moving in here, which is currently occupied by Killer Clown, but actually they are opting to drive all the way past here, Ye is deciding to shift vehicle here to the Dacia as they move actually towards the military island. Now they should have a good rotation coming up uh, from the western bridge later on but they want to secure an efficient uh, looting phase here as much as they can. And we do see BN Power after losing one of their players decides to opt to go along the northern road here as they look for other places to loot here but they might run into the MSK Poseidon guys who are currently in Severny. Now one number seven FFG and uh, Extends here are sharing North George here while well, Zarki is going to be looted by Nasi Ayam Sadat and uh, in the south of uh, Georgia Pool and west of Gatka we have Gang FTY a little bit spread out here as they try and uh, make sure that they can get those vehicles here um, can't see at the moment whether or not that they managed to secure as many as they would have wanted here now there is uh, the presence from squad number six here in the center where Gatka is. Now, BN Power deciding to make that rotation through uh, or past Severny here. Um, it's whether or not the MSK Poseidon is uh, swift enough to catch on this rotation by the two vehicles. But I think they're too engrossed in their looting phase here to put up too many connections. But actually, it looks as though J-Ball actually gets hit substantially and um, DJ Lowell able to finish him off as well. Um, so that's an a frag, early frag for MSK Poseidon here and uh, BN Power is down to one player. And uh, now moving on we do see that uh, other teams are still not in the movement phase here. But Squad 6, 16 or 6 Gaming has uh, decided to rotate north of Yasnaya here as they do not exactly want to share um, with Squad 3 Team Infinity in uh, Zarki. No, no, not Zarki, uh, Kameshki. So, yeah, they have decided to go for the northwestern compound from Yasnaya here. Yasnaya currently occupied by Power Rangers squad number 14 and uh, Quaker squad number 19. They do have quite a significant bit of difference uh, or distance between each other and should offer a lot of looting opportunities for both teams. But just whether or not Power Ranger decides to rotate faster. And uh, actually, Novo is the... the Looting area of choice for Team 15 here, with only Starlight Standard actually opting to go for the military base itself. Probably just a, um, a anti-risk strategy as they try to prevent all the entire team from going down in case someone else had the same idea here. Now, in North George, we do see that Carcassum, uh, the last player left alive for BN Power, has decided to go to the Northern George area, but there are three FFG players in close proximity here, and the uh, not too far away there's also team extents from singapore so looking uh like he has to play it a bit carefully he is inside the zone so he can play it as slow as he wants now we did see in the very uh round number two that everyone tried to rush one multi-story building in san martin and um four-man team died to two men 
Um, so anything can happen in this kind of uh, situation here. So they want to play their cards very carefully here, as it is still very much the early stage of the game. Now, it's only six and a half minutes in, and there are still 20 teams left alive here, so no early uh, major confrontations here. I think some of the teams that did take those early losses have decided to lick their wounds a little bit and actually think about the bigger picture here. Oh, so, uh, wow, guys. Uh, Alvin, you are amazing, man. Thank you so much for the 9,525 stars. You are amazing, man. And uh, Michael Chai, thank you so much for the 795 stars, man. You are amazing. So thank you guys so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Um, hope you guys are enjoying the stream. Let me know if there's anything I can do to, to make it better here. Now, we do already see that some rotations are coming in. We see that squad number one here is starting to move in here um, on, the, on the eastern side of the circle. And uh, Gekka does see that squad number six is posturing a little bit together with um, uh, BAE. But they have actually managed to escape into the further regions over there. So um, now let's see um, whether or not that um, BN Power is still going to be in power here. Uh, well, actually, it's Brunei Power. Uh, just for in case people are not aware of what BN Power stands for. But it decides. It looks as though that Carcassum has decided to, to bug out a little bit here as he tries to make his way away from the this apartment complex as he's made aware that there are quite a lot of FFG players all in close proximity. So he's going to try and uh, play a little bit carefully here. Now, um, let's see. We do see MBT also starting to make their rotations here. But Squad 16, after having moved all the way from Kameshki, uh, have started to engage with uh, Quaker as uh, they have also made their move already from... Uh, Yasnaya, we do see that uh, Aplux uh, and Co and the rest of the team are, have managed to reconvene without facing too many incidents here. Now, um, they are taking a lot of shots at Hemiscape Spider here. DJ Lowe is rotating through on his bike here, but uh, he manages to get away just in time here. So that's pretty... Oh, Voidless also trying to go through here as uh, Crescenia also gets uh, a kill here as he's uh, the lone scout now. It looks as though MSK Poseidon completely separated again here. Um, now, they uh, did manage to come out on top getting that one of those early frags here onto um, Crossfire here. So, um, so yeah, I think uh, looking at how things are developing here, all the teams are making the rotations. Uh, squad number 11 here is a little bit distant here. Um, they are still very much in the Milta power region. They are going to take some damage here from uh, the circle here. But uh, Killer Clown squad number 11 should be making their way over pretty soon here. Karkazan deciding to just keep his distance from North George as uh, he doesn't want to face any difficulties right now. Um, now, looking at how things are developing here, we do have uh, the rest of the teams making their rotation here. Now, there is a rotation here from Power Rangers, but they only have one vehicle to their name here. So it only takes one bad move to run into uh, one of these teams, and their whole game is pretty much finished here. And no one wants to go out in last, last position here, uh, especially since it's still very much the first circle. But there's still lots of space for a lot of these teams to go here. But given the nature of the plane, most of the teams are in the top portion of the map here. Only a few teams actually deciding to go further south here. We still see Squad 15 having actually gone all the way to the military island, have actually gone, um, uh, or rather they still have not made their move yet. They are more in the main military base here at the moment here. But things are getting a little bit heated in the region between uh, North South George and Gatka as uh, we do see that the rotation is complete from uh, Voidless here as he joins up with Crescenia from MSK Poseidon here but they were taking some hits there from uh, Team Crayon which is currently occupying the hospital with Meltings there I mean he had a nice uh, kill in the early game in the last round as he did manage to shoot someone out of the sky with his SKS so he really does like that spot and he's putting some long range hurt on Crescenia now, meanwhile, there is uh, Frostfire who are just down the road, uh, just next to the mountain here, which does help to secure this area of the zone. And we see the rest of MSK Poseidon, Poseidon meeting up here. 
Squad 18 is uh, further south in the Gatka region, um, Team AE. And uh, they are having a 2-2 split here, as they are also occupying western region of Gatka, um, which is also very close to where a number of the FTY guys are, though two of them are in the further south, Mamparang, uh, with leaving only Alans and Dankert, which are currently a little bit separated here. Now, other teams are making their way here. Uh, Team Quaker are actually um, still occupying that same spot here, trying to see whether they can spot any rotation uh, coming from any of the other teams there, as Power Ranger also continues to move uh, through this region here as well. But Abyss Lord could be going a little bit too er uh, close to the team members here from uh, Quaker, as uh, he takes a number of hits. I think his car has sp spun out there as uh, potentially his tire got uh, blown up here, and uh, Skyrex will get another chance to shoot at the spinning now car, and this Lord is running for his life, but unfortunately he gets taken out, and uh, that's a confirmed, first confirmed kill for uh, Quaker, so looking to see whether they can top their own kills chart in the previous game here. As uh, Meltings actually uh, goes down at the hospital here, he does have help around him, so um, the rest of Team Crayon have met up in the hospital, so he should be okay here, but not... Uh, a knock that they wanted to take in this early game here and uh finally we see team 15 having vacated the military island we do see that uh they are rotating past this uh, large compound which is currently occupied by killer clown but killer clown not feeling uh feeling like they want to open up too much on these rotations or just not being uh too prepared here but there is the lone vehicle from yes as he comes through here but there is the uh, incoming squad members from Koyak Gaming here, who are moving in pretty late here, as uh, they are trying to put some fire up. And I think uh, the Apple would have noticed that there is a vacated vehicle already here. As he takes some long range shots, as the rest of the team starts to maneuver around to try and defend this compound here. Now, it is only on the edge of the circle here, so it's something that could be a bug out of here. But at, at the end of the day, it looks as though there's a huge battle between uh, Extents as well as uh, FFG, and FFG gets eliminated as they um, actually go right through um, or try to rotate right through Extents here. But Extents is still in um, close proximity now to. Um, Power Rangers, so Power Rangers, three men strong here, they are trying to get real gun up here, but Pattern a lot just trying to get some higher ground here and see what he can do from the window side here. Now, he won't be able to see them just yet here as the, there is still a lot of smokes ongoing here and uh, they are trying to come around the side here. They are a bit narrow here as uh, they could easily get flanked if Extens decides to, to move out just a little bit. Now, they are going around the building here. Kai, a little bit in the, the rear or the southern part of this building complex here, as the three members from. Um, yeah, as the three members from Power Ranger are deciding to make the move, but it looks as though that full battle has erupted here, as uh, there is chaos everywhere here, as uh, looks as though that Power. Not Power Rangers. Killer, Killer Clown here is really duking out with Koyak Gaming. So, Koyak Gaming left with only one player left up. Same with. Uh, Killer Clown. So Killer Clown deciding to take up the higher ground here. Um, Haikal go trying to see, you know, if he can get a lucky shot here. There is not full HP on the player from Killer Clowns here, as he is still trying to spot him from the higher ground. So Hi Haikal Joe trying to just get off the the boost here. Now, not sure whether it's enough time for each of the teams to get their own player up here as. Uh, the communication will be relayed here, and uh, looks like that is it for Killer Clown. They go out in 19th position here. Now, next circle is again uh, a little bit central, but not too far to the western side as we did see before. Gang FTY starting to get involved here as they put up some uh, shots onto BAE in the distance. Now, BAE is a little bit far away by the radio tower, and they still have uh, a little bit of a split going on still. Uh, but they did lose... Two of the other players, I think, in that split, Lukis and Chao Wei, not able to stay alive. And uh, it looks as though Imagine also lost his helmet here as they are stuck at this radio tower here. They got MBT and uh, Crayon, uh, Team Crayon, actually in close proximity here. And uh, Quaker adding to their kill total as they catch uh, Yu Smile uh, in rotation here for Nasi Ayam Sadat. So another kill to them. And they're really sure that they can 
really racked them up as we saw in the last round here. Now, Nick Gina is actually trying to run away as rotating past the, the team members from Six Gaming here who are currently occupying uh, this compound here. I'm Cold Blood on the high ground here, trying to get some good vision and scouting for his team as uh, he's also able to catch all the, the rotations coming in here. So now it's uh, Gang FTY with a 2-2 split, really making it increasingly difficult for BAE with Imagine and Badman to actually get out of this spot here. Um, they do not. They could actually go over the hill, but they would expose themselves to other teams here. Now there is uh, Frostfire who's stuck in between MBT and um, Team Crayon, so they probably don't want to move here unless they can find a really good avenue to escape. Now Geek Fam still four man strong. They are occupying the southern region of the circle here, and uh, there are others who are. Uh, but yeah, there are other players who are trying to. Uh, get in the mix here as we see MSK Poseidon here is very close to squad uh, 15 here uh, They are trying to Just make sure that they don't have their territory encroached on by MSK, but MSK I think they're only down to three players. So yeah, they did lose DJ low unfortunately uh, Trying to move to this position here. So the next circle is going to reveal itself these teams in the North George side almost most likely have to start moving down here. Oh I, looks as though I have to eat my words and uh, yeah they are still in the zone here so we could still be seeing a prolonged engagement here as neither in intense extents or uh, Power Rangers actually want to make that move but we see other teams here are starting to make their rotations Gang FTY has to move here Geek Fam has to move the furthest together with uh, the last remaining player from uh, Koyak Gaming so there's just going to be a lot of sparring MPT could act as the Gatekeeper here as they look to put pressure on these other teams trying to move up here Squad number six is also one of them as they do have to move a bit further north here to get into that good position um, But Batman and uh, Imagine are still stuck in a lot of trouble here as they are uh, Still located right in this crossfire, but luckily for them the circle is north of them So they can escape over the northern side uh, and uh, hopefully a lot of the other teams are in rotation at the moment so they will be able to stay alive but Frostfire and MBT are really putting uh, a lot of shots on these rotations coming in here. JC, John C. Nobody uh, taking a lot of fire and looks like Shots one able to get that final elimination onto Nasi I am set up so they go out in 18th position here. Um, now Aaron T and uh, Infinity are trying to move here but they lost their their bike here as uh, they look to put the hurt on Elliot uh, trying to get some some further vision here but not able to See them as they're stuck behind the ridge here. They are inside the zone, so they don't have to press the issue too much here. But just look at the number of teams all making their, their rotations here at the same time. Gang FTY moving uh, along the... Or going straight to the mountain right past Frostfire here. Um, uncontested as well here. As uh, they don't want to run into both MBT as well as Frostfire. But Frostfire have decided to vacate... The compound after seeing that most of the teams have started rotating but the three players from infinity are starting to look at them and if they're not lucky they will face a lot of problems uh later on but uh, it looks as though fty is going to see the uh days and starlight standard here for team 15 as they try to rotate in here and they get eliminated here but starlight standard uh managing to eliminate himself with the car so if there were points at stake in this game he would have prevented it in that instance here. But now it looks as though that other teams are starting to advance on this hill. Uh, that currently FTY does have the high ground position here. As Frostfire are still moving up from that compound. It seems that Infinity is close behind them. They might be able to backstab them and make things difficult here. And uh, Extends taking some uh, damage here. As uh, we also see Jags actually going down after Voidless able to knock him down. And Aaron T able to bring it up. Onto Frostfire here after facing some fire here and left only with Sophia left up here as they try and confirm the kills here. But Aaron T goes down here. Sophia able to confirm the kill there. So Frosty Sis is now aware of um, the remaining presence from Frostfire as they look to clear out this compound here. Now they are still inside the zone. They do have the time here for Sophia in a little bit of trouble and uh, Felberg able to come in and finish it off. Now it does look as though that the standoff here in North George is still continuing here as um, intense uh, extents rather they did lose one of their players 
or no, they eliminated the last player from uh, Nasi Am Sadab and they are back at it facing against Power Rangers here. Now the rest of the teams here are here lost in, locked in a, quite a battle here as we do see here Lepak Mamak here uh, going to town on uh, BAE here but Batman is still up for BAE so he's trying to maneuver around but he's run out of ammo for his AK here and uh, Sniper is really jostling with him. He's got just a little bit of health and just a shotgun left to his name so he's going to try and wait for that uh, push from Sniper that's inevitably coming here but he doesn't look like he's in great shape, but he should be able to get his heal off here. But the nade is coming in and uh, he is finished. So Battle Arena Elite go out in 16th position here. So um, moving on, we'll, uh, Le Le Pak Mama will do in a way. So they have only left two players after they face off in that in their battle here. But Geek Fam under more pressure here as Modi is taking a lot of fire from MSK Poseidon. MSK Poseidon having shifted all the way to the eastern side over here. Uh, not able to get enough connections to confirm the, the knockdown there. But they did manage to eliminate one of the, the players there. Now Geek Fam only is left with one player left up here. Now the next circle is very much in uh, Team Crayon and FTY's, uh, Gang FTY's... Um, Aver, as all the other teams are starting to make their rotations here. We do see here squad number six is moving in. Um, it looks as though that extent, team extends has decided to disengage with their battle with Power Rangers and uh, Carcassum still alive here as he has been waiting patiently to rotate in as best that he can. Now, um, team Crayon here able to see the, the rotation coming in here from uh, six, six Gaming here. Big Blue Blur deciding to jump out of here, but he gets caught by Gary Yang. So, um, that's going to be it for him as uh, Live Action is also trying to put fire on A6 here. But uh, Gary Yang also in a lot of trouble, but he manages to get in just in time here. So 6 Gaming here, uh, two players down at the moment here. But uh, in the south, in, meanwhile, in the northern Gatka region here, we see that Infinity is trying to push up the hill here towards Gang FTY. Um, but Frosty Sis has gone down and MBT has actually come around to this side. But Rexen has gone down uh, as well. So they're going to have to try and get him up. If they can, they, the blue circle is going to start closing in pretty soon here. They might have time to, to get pull it off, uh, no problem, but they are facing a lot of pressure from Gang FTY, who are currently occupying this hilly area here and having great vision on the southern regions over here. And they're going to try and act as gatekeepers here, prevent all these teams from coming in here and uh, try and rack up those kills as best they can. Uh, Team Crayon going on the offensive on 6 Gaming after they lost a uh, big blue bird as uh, they starting to push into the house here. Live action uh, advancing in here, but he's a little bit outnumbered here, but he's got backup coming and he starts pushing onwards as uh, the nade goes out. Gary goes down here, live action, trying to come in here. He, he, there's a little bit of TK in here as I'm Coldblood nades to Andy BG here. And I'm Coldblood goes down here and uh, that is going to be it for uh, uh, 6 Gaming here. Now, Blue Circle is closing in rapidly. Now, MPT in a little bit of trouble. They are fighting together with another team uh, outside Infinity Gaming uh, who are also outside the circle at the moment. They don't want to move out of this compound after having to retreat from that high ground. Tyler is going to see whether he can press the issue here, but uh, it looks as though that uh, they're getting hit quite badly from uh, Gang FTY, so that's going to be it. Gang FTY chalking up 3 kills in, from MBT and a little bit of help from Infinity Gaming here. So they got 6 kills so far and they're going to make their rotation in. Uh, and it looks as though that um, Modi able to get a 3 packs here as he eliminates the entirety of um, Extents here who are advancing on his compound. So really carrying the torch for Geek Fam here as they look to stay alive here. There are 12 teams left alive here but still 26 um, or rather 26 people alive, but there's still 12 teams. So all to play for here as most of the teams are under strength here. Um, now it looks as though pressure is now on Gang FTY as they are trying to rotate out. Um, now it looks as though Caxis has got Sniper's uh, attention here who has the uh, DPT as his sniper rifle. Now Shazwan also trying to come out with the nade here where Caxis is trying to use the vehicle as cover here. But the nade is good and uh, that is going to be it, but Dankirk knocks over two of his team members as he rotates in here in a hurry. So, um, looking at things here, they do have a bit of fortification here. And they are deploying all the smokes that they have available, otherwise uh, it's going to be in trouble. 
Now, luckily, they're not in nade range of anyone. Otherwise, they are done for here. Now, this is excellent use of um, some of the vehicles that teams use in their early rotations here as extra cover when the circle just gets too tight here. But the, the current large compound occupied by um, Team Crayon actually looks pretty good for them. Now, they should be able to... Uh, use that extreme amount of cover. Voidless for MSK Poseidon now. They lost a couple of their players in rotation from the, all the way on the eastern side to get to that spot. So Voidless just going to take it easy there. Carcassim also taking it easy here. But um, Blue Zone will not be that forgiving and they're moving in here. Now, uh, Team Quaker is still four man up here and they are actually going to try and move in on this zone. But the the vehicle explodes here as I think the Gang FTY guys blew up their own vehicle to avoid it blowing up in their faces when they're a bit too close together. Now, Quaker is a, is a bit spread out here. M0 going down here after he's attracting a lot of attention from Apul. So, uh, Quaker is moving in here. Now, it looks as though they are attracting fire from uh, Team Team Crayon. So, Team Crayon uh, using that uh, good position here. Now, body under tons of fire here from squad number six as he is rotating through here. And he's in mid-air and he's able to survive through all of that. So he survives, but for how long here? As this uh, area here is currently occupied by a few people and uh, looks as though that um, the last player for Koyak uh, will be able to get him, but Karkasam able to eliminate him as well. And the uh, at the same time, we do see that uh, Lepak Mamak has been eliminated by the team members of uh, Team Crayon here as they are racking it up here. But live action really showing his uh, his stuff here as he chucks up six kills by himself for the team's total of seven here. Now they are really making it difficult for Quaker to, to come through here. Gang FTY still have their five or four people alive here. Danker trying to navigate around here and spot the remaining player, but uh, Skyrex able to get the shots onto him as Danker goes down here. Now it looks as though that he will be going out due to the Garaza shot. Now we do have um, the other players all starting to move inside the circle. Carcassum going all the way around here. And uh, it looks as though squad number six is firmly setting their sights on the three players here for Team Crayon as they want to try and uh, make sure that it's going to be as difficult as possible. Because uh, given this next circle, it's only uh, Gang FTY and a little bit of Infinity Gaming that's still inside the zone at the moment here. So these guys are going to try and see who can uh, move last here as uh, one of the players from squad six goes down here. And uh, the, finally, we do see that they have vacated the, this area here, uh, team, team Crayon, as they try and move inside the zone here. But Gang FTY down to two players after they lost M0 as well, Danker dying earlier on. But the nade comes in here and uh, Mamparang and Allens take a lot of damage from the advancement. Live action, looking for more of it, you know, as he continues to toss out the nades here. Maybe tossing the nades against the high ground there to get a nice nade onto Allens there. But they are also taking a lot of fire themselves. Squad number six is a little bit caught out here. Um, they are trying to put on a lot of suppressing fire, but they're all caught inside the blue zone here. And they're taking a lot of damage and forced to move up, but they have already deployed their smokes and should be in a decent position here. Voidless trying to put some hurt onto Infinity as he's still inside the zone here. Frosty, and he gets Frosty Zist, but that's going to be it for him. So he gets uh, two frags in that exchange here and a lot of chaos there and Gang FTY also gets eliminated as after the nade comes in from uh, from Team Crayon here. And we are suddenly left with only two teams left. Squad 6 still at four men up alive. Live, live action is down for, for Team Crayon here. Now Meltings is also uh, gone down as well after he takes uh, one from Bamcop in the head. Now he is separated. There's not going to be any way for them to get him up. It, uh, live action is the only player who could potentially get up but uh, Insane Floyd uh, and uh, Live Action are going to be stuck out here in the open a little bit here as, um, as Squad 6 honestly they have a superior position here and they have the numbers here so it only looks like a matter of time for, before uh, yeah, things develop further in their favor now they are putting up those long range shots K-Bytes um, trying to Put some up there. They have four kills already. Now it looks as though Bamcop actually gets knocked down by Insane Floyd here. So Insane Floyd in live action trying to get a decent spread here. Live action taking up uh, inside that compound which is occupied or makeshift compound occupied by 
the light gang empty Wyatt and Rain's arrow goes down from insane Floyd and Fleoflux able to come in here and get that kill here and he finally finishes off taking out live action there and that is it squad number six wins here with um, getting six kills on the board here so they managed to stay on the edge of the circle pretty well and it, and really just making it difficult for all these rota rotating teams I think we saw so many of the teams coming in from the eastern side of the map all the way to the all the way to the west where the circle was more focused on and um, they really played it in their favor and they really made the other teams uh, continue to drive on and I think in the hospital we saw three solo squads so to speak all fighting out just because they ran all the way through that zone there um, taking a lot of casualties in the process and in second place we have um, uh, team Crayon, they managed to chalk up 10 kills for themselves. So live action, able to chalk up 6 for himself there. So great performance from here, him. Uh, but unfortunately, they had uh, two players down in that final zone. And um, they were a little bit out positioned, even though they did try and get a good spread uh, between live action and insane Floyd towards the end. And uh, in third place, we have Gang FTY, who won our second game of the, of the day here. Um, they managed to stay alive quite quite well, but they were in a tough spot, especially when um, I think Dankirk moved away to uh, engage with Team uh, Quaker, who were approaching from behind. Uh, so unfortunately, he got taken out there. Then it was M0, um, and then Allens and Mamparang got assaulted by Team Crayon and took a nade too many in that instance. And MSK Poseidon uh, coming out in fourth. They did manage to keep their players alive uh, quite well uh, deep into the game there but that rotation from the eastern side of the circle really hurt them and uh, they were only left with uh, Voidless to try and carry the torch there that he did manage to get two kills in a two-on-one situation uh, against Infinity uh, who came in third place there so that was good play from him but unfortunately he they were all inside the blue zone and all destined to uh, join the lobby once again so um, there you have it guys so that were that was uh, all the battle arena scrims for tonight. I hope you enjoyed this broadcast and the commentary. Um, I hope uh, if you do have any comments, you will please let me know as I do want to try and improve my uh, streams. And uh, of course, if there are any scrims that you guys want me to come and cast, just let me know uh, they're happening or something. If I'm free, I'll be more than happy to um, come and do some some casting here. I'm having a blast with you guys. Uh, I'd like to give another shout out to all those who have uh, given me uh, stars. Uh, I, I really appreciate the very generous, uh, uh, or I appreciate the generosity, especially Alvin Lee, who uh, sent 9,525 stars. You're a, a star, man. And uh, Michael Chai, who is amazing, sending in uh, 795 stars. There are a few others, uh, which I not able to mention right at this moment in time but i really do appreciate all your uh um, your support so far and i appreciate everyone um supporting the stream as well uh all the shares and likes and and comments so far really are helping out a lot i really appreciate it so um so yeah that's it for tonight's games guys so um battle arena scrims will be played uh, maybe every monday tuesday wednesday um so if you want to join in on the scrims please do visit their Discord channel, have a look and stay up to date for any future scrims and uh, do, do try and book your place um, in advance here. And uh, you can be sure that you'll be in store for some uh, great games. So it's going to be a lot of good practice for all the, the teams here as there is going to be the HP Omen Challenge uh, as well as the um, PUBG Malaysia Singapore Championship 2018, which is coming up. So I just like to wish all those teams a, a very good luck to... Uh, performing well and making sure that their teams can take home um, all the chicken dinners and um, yeah that is going to be it for me tonight guys so VODs will be available on my YouTube channel uh, in the near future so stay tuned for that if you do want to watch these screams once again so my name is Jay from Play of the Jay thanks for tuning in and thanks for all the support